you know another reason for this for the uh, the word scarcity is listen to the phonics scare sit e they want you scared and they want you sitting down and they want the instead of the flow because the e is the spirit the spirit flow and they want you living in fear and sitting down and not moving they want to stop the spirit flow god is unlimited the holy spirit is unlimited the ability for a person who's saved to invent to uh, come up with new ways and new paths new ways to trap food new ways to hunt food new ways to build something a clay pot or whatever there's always a new way to do something if if a person's listening to the spirit because God is a God is the God of innovation, right? It's not Lucifer. Lucifer's not the innovation God. Lucifer is the scarcity God. He's the he's the one that the false God who who tries to promote scarcity. It's all lies, people. You've been lied to. We have been lied to our whole life. It's a death cult. It's a scarcity cult. It's a fear cult. They're just trying to do fear darts all the time. The news, the media. And if it doesn't work, they create a war. If it doesn't work, they create a pandemic. If they can't put you in fear, they create all kinds of uh, catastrophes, right? If you're prospering in God, they got to create some kind of catastrophe and lie about it and and hide and say, oh, it was Mother Nature that did it. Yeah, there might be hurricanes and stuff that happen, but there's always a rebuilding, you know. To rebuild is what this whole thing's about. Reconstruction. Rebuild your you know, your core. You're born in sin and you're being renovated, remodeled. It's all about rebuilding and remodeling your your core person. Your, by your in your spirit, man. So scarcity is a big fat lie. Plain and simple. And they use it. They use it to, uh, like I say, put you, put you in, slow you down, sit you down, and and to scare you and to sit you and keep you from moving, keep the keep the blood from flowing. If you just get up and go, why do you think they want you on the computer all the time, or they want you on a video game or programming? That's part of the that's part of the game. Use it as a tool. Don't use it as a uh, comfort machine. Use it as a tool. It's not there for... So they, they, they're trying to make the machine, just like a car, they're trying to make people fall in love with their cars, with their computers, with their phones. Have you noticed people fall in love with their phone? Look at my phone. I got an iPhone. I got an iPhone 5 iPhone 9. I got an iPhone 24. I got an iPhone 36. I got a, I got an iPhone 99. I got the best model. Model. I got a Ford. I got a Chevrolet. They want you to fall in love with some kind of mechanical device that man created. So they want you sitting down in static mode instead of moving. 
If they can get you in the static mindset, it's scarcity. If they can get you in the flow mindset, it's abundance. They, the ones who trying, the ones who are trying to put you in static mode, they don't want you in the flow mode. So, the flow mode, staying in the flow, is from God, is from the Spirit. So, if God can get you in the flow mode, it's abundance. But if the world gets you in the static mode, it's scarcity. A lot of them. They want a bunch of people underneath them in the flow mode, but they don't want to do anything. So they're vampiring off of your flow, and you don't even know that that's what's happening. But if you were in the flow on your own, you wouldn't need them. Static. Stationary. You have two arms and two, le two legs because... Because God intended a flow, a movement. It actually keeps you young, right? The flow mode, static mode is a lie. We were taught. I don't know where we were taught it. I don't know if it was in the cartoons or just your parents or whatever. But everybody was taught. That it's cool to sit down on the couch like a like a big dog and say, I'm I'm the king and just sit in the chair. But that's really not cool. Cool is the flow. Cool is innovating. Cool is working. Cool is doing something. Cool is actually getting it done, you know. It just it's 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 so it's such a brainwashing system, it's not even fun. Filter down. It filters down to to through the bloodline and through the lies that the, the so you, let's say your parents believed a lie, and I'm sure they did. Most everybody's parents have believed the lies, and we have believed. Everybody has believed lies. <clears throat> let's say they believed a the lie and they filtered it down to you, and you believed a lie. When's it gonna stop? When's the lies going to stop? It stops with you if you want to stop it. You keep believing a lie if you want to. But why? Why would you want to believe a lie? The lie is the scarcity. The truth is the flow. The lie is the scarcity. You can meet a, you know a person who's in scarcity mindset just by the way they talk. Just by the way they talk. Yeah, working 50 hours a week, it ain't, it ain't necessarily fun at times. Or 55 hours or 60 hours. You got to do what you got to do for a season to get out of debt or whatever. And uh, it's not always fun. But I don't remember anywhere in the Bible where life is supposed to be fun. I don't remember a verse that says life is supposed to be fun in the Bible. I can't find it.